In CA Level 2 Organic Chemistry, we're going to be recapping our rules of reaction, so that's Makovnikov's rule and Zaitsev's rule. Makovnikov's rule applies to addition reactions, so we're talking about alkenes in our examples. You might want to rewatch the video on alkenes before you go any further. So here's an example with an alkene reacting with hydrogen bromide. It's an addition reaction. Our definition of addition reaction was that a double bond breaks to become a single bond and two new single bonds are formed. My first possibility of a product is that I have my hydrogen and bromine attach itself like so, but I could also get the second possibility here. I make both of these products, but it's not a 50-50 split. One of them actually appears in excess. The one which appears in excess is called the major product. And Makovnikov's rule is just a way of predicting which of these two possibilities is the one that will be forming in excess. Now to do that, you might remember the rule as rich get richer. So when I look at my first alkene, I have to consider which carbon atom is richer. Now you can think of hydrogen like money. So this carbon atom here is richer because it has two hydrogen atoms and this carbon atom is poor because it only has one hydrogen atom. So in this first example here, the rich gained another H, so it got richer. In this second example, this carbon atom didn't gain an H, so that rich did not get richer. So this first example here, rich got richer. That's our major product, which means the other one must be the minor product. You wouldn't just write rich get richer in an assessment. You'd have to actually use wording that's more appropriate. Rich get richer is just a way to help you remember the rule. So you'd say something like the major product is the product with the least substituted carbon atom bracket, has the most hydrogen atoms close bracket and the reactant has gained another hydrogen atom. Now Zaitsev's rule is poor get poorer. Please do not write anti-Makovnikov. Anti-Makovnikov means something entirely different to what you think it might mean. So poor get poorer is a easier way or better way to remember it rather. And this applies to elimination reactions. So we're talking about haloalkanes and alcohols. I've got videos on haloalkanes and alcohols if you want to find out more about elimination reactions. So here's an example with an alcohol. I'm reacting it with sulfuric acid. And in an elimination reaction, our definition was that we remove two atoms or groups of atoms from two neighboring carbon atoms to form a double bond. Now I could have chosen to kick out the OH and that H or this OH and this H here. So I get two possibilities. Now the rule was poor get poorer, so I have to assign rich and poor again. So this carbon atom is rich because it has three hydrogens on it. This carbon atom is poor because it only has two hydrogen atoms. In this example here, the poor lost a hydrogen, so the poor got poorer. That means that it followed the rule poor got poorer. It followed Zaitsev's rule. That means this is the major product, which means the other one must be the minor product. So just like last time with Makovnikov's rule, don't just write poor get poorer. Use wording that's more appropriate because poor get poorer is just a way to help you to remember Zaitsev's rule. The major product is the product with the most substituted carbon atom, which is the one that's got the least hydrogen atoms and the reactant has lost another hydrogen.